Martin and Emily, what a wonderful and exciting moment this is in your life, isn't it? It's a night of joy and celebration. And it's also one of the most meaningful experiences that any of us will ever have. And how great it is to know that the person standing by your side tonight loves you. And they have chosen you above everyone else to spend your life with. So it really does make this a wonderful and exciting moment in both of your lives. You know, love is patient and it's kind. It's not envious or jealous or boastful or proud. And love is not haughty or selfish or rude. And love never demands its own way. And it never holds a grudge. How great that is. Now, if you love someone, you'll be loyal to them, no matter what the cost. You'll always believe in them, always expect the best of them, and you'll always stand your ground while you're defending them. Now, there are many ways to express the love that you have for each other, and one of the best is just by loving one another unselfishly the way you know the other person would like to be loved. I think when you truly love someone, you simply want the best for them. You enjoy seeing them smile, and you want them to have a wonderful, joyous life right alongside of you. And I'm sure that you want to do everything within your power to make every day of their life just a little bit better. And I believe that when you express your love often to each other, you'll end up having a home that's filled with love. You know, I think that's the only kind of home that there is. The rest of them are just houses, aren't they? But when you truly love each other, your home is one of the greatest places in your life. It's a place of refuge where you can kind of recuperate from the stress and pressures of life that we all face. It's wonderful because we, in an atmosphere of love, will flourish as human beings, I believe, where someone is there to support you and encourage you and let you know that they stand behind you. Whatever you do in life, there's just something wonderful about that, isn't there? And so you're going to grow as a human being individually, and you're going to grow together as a couple because of that love and friendship. So may your home always be filled with love and laughter, friendship <coughs> and kindness, and caring for one another each and every day of your lives. It's also great to have someone that's committed to you the way you're committed to them. Someone that trusts you the same way that you trust them. And I hope that you'll always be trustworthy and committed to your relationship and each other so that you can have a great and a bright future together. It's also important to give gifts to each other when you're in love. And, you know, I found out a long time ago, Martin, that ladies never get tired of receiving gifts. <laughs> they like those little blue-green bags, you know, that say Tiffany's on them, if I'm not mistaken. But there are gifts that you can give to each other that go beyond things, and they're much more valuable. And the best gift that you have to offer each other here tonight is yourselves. What a great gift that other person is into your lives. And you can express that by just being each other's best friend, by loving each other through all the changes and the challenges of life, by being open and honest when you communicate with each other. And finally, because we all disagree, what a great gift forgiveness is. And if you practice loving and giving, and forgiving each day, you can have a long and happy relationship together. And that's why you're here tonight, isn't it? So I trust that you remember that. Let me hold your flowers for a few moments. I'd like for you to turn and face each other. Hold both hands and look into each other's eyes, please. Martin, will you repeat after me, please? I, Martin, take you, Emily. I, Martin, take thee, Emily. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to love and respect you. I promise to love and respect you. In the good times and bad. In the good times and bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In poverty in, and in wealth. In poverty and in wealth. For the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. I am only <coughs> thank you, Martin. I am only thank you, Martin. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to love and respect you. 
the good times and bad. In sickness and in health. In poverty and in wealth. For the rest of my life. Martin, you have rings for Emily. Will you take those? Place them on her finger. Repeat after me. There you go. With this ring. With this ring. I promise to you. I promise to you. My faithfulness and love. My faithfulness and love. Emily, you take this ring. Place it on Martin's finger. Repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I promise to you. My faithfulness and love. Keep holding hands, if you will, and let's pray. Heavenly Father, tonight we rejoice with Martin and Emily because of this wonderful moment in their lives. As they begin their journey through life together as husband and wife tonight, may your blessings be upon them. May they truly enjoy the love and the friendship that they share now each and every day of their lives. May they never forget how special this moment is. No matter how difficult the days, whatever joys they have in the future, may they continue to love one another unselfishly every day. And I pray that grace and mercy and peace would be upon this household. In your name I ask it. Amen. Amen. You step right over in front of the candles, please, right in front of me. Put your arm around each other's waist right there. Go forward a little bit. As you take the two outside candles, light the center candle together, and simply represent your two lives. Join it together. Martin and Emily, before God and this witness tonight, you have pledged your love to each other shared your vows of how you plan to live your lives together in the future. And it's my privilege tonight as a representative of the state of Nevada and as a minister to now pronounce that you are husband and wife. And here comes the best part, Martin. You get to kiss the bride. <laughs> Someone who needs me, someone I've needed so long. For once, unafraid, I can go where life leads me, and somehow I know I'll be strong. For once, I can touch what my heart used to dream of long before I knew someone warm like you. 